Hey guys, it's Jesse from the Pathways Wellness Team. Today we're going to talk a little bit about food logs, specifically our emotions related to what foods we're eating. One of our first videos was uh, about food logs, how I like to use them when we're starting to identify areas that we like to change. Uh, this kind of goes into what Brad was talking about this past Wednesday of mindfulness. And we're going to be looking at what emotions are related to the food we're eating. Uh, some of you have been looking into, you know, how can we reinforce that cognitive behavioral change? And this is a great way to do it. You know, when we're identifying some negative feelings related to our eating habits, there's a lot of evidence out there that we're not going to repeat that behavior uh, much longer. So what I'm recommending is that, you know, as you're kind of looking at your food log or if you're starting a food log and you want to go one step further is to write down your feelings prior to eating. Um, you know, really digging in to are you feeling calm? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling restless? And then really look at what you're feeling after you eat. Um, again, the evidence kind of supports that for identifying that negative feeling related to some behavior, it is uh, very unlikely we're going to continue that behavior moving forward for an extended period of time. If you have any questions about this, certainly reach out to myself or anyone on the wellness team. Make sure you jump in to our wellness luncheons on Thursday. We'll see you there.